What's up guys? So if you didn't see our last video, go watch that because it's not going to make sense if you watch this one before the last one because I'm not explaining everything we're doing. But our organization boost, as you know from the last video that you totally watched, we are sponsoring a family of four for Easter. I thought we'd just show you what we're doing and how we're going about it because this is the money that you guys are raising that's going to help us do this and get our dreams to come true and help these kids. So I'm going to start with this one. So she has two little girls. I was told they love Paw Patrol, which I love Paw Patrol too. They're so cute. Um, who's my favorite? Where is he? Where is he? He's my favorite. Rocky is without a doubt my favorite. But anyway, they have the same exact things in their baskets, so I'm not going to like show you both. <clears throat> Sorry. But they lost everything in a fire except the clothes they had on their back. So I wanted to give them things just to make them happy because at the end of the day, like, you don't want to be stressing about having Easter and starting over. And I just, I wasn't okay with the fact they'd have to choose between food and regular things or you know Easter so I went ahead and helped out with Easter this year so this is one basket I got them the same things like I said so we got little silverware set it's just cute my kids love these we have quite a few in our house that's Sky from Paw Patrol got them little bowls so adorable and our kids had a lot of say in what went in these and I feel like you can't have Easter I know it's funny because my kids didn't get bubbles but we have so many bubbles in our house you can't really have Easter without bubbles so I had to go ahead and get bubbles and a little cup because they are totally starting over they needed a little place set of their own I tried to get things they really do need and just like my kids, they got some little chocolate bunnies. Because how could you not love chocolate bunnies? They got three each. And then we had these like stockpiled in our house. We have like so many of them. We're never going to use them all. So I decided we'll just give one pack to each girl. Nerds ropes. These were my little brother's favorite candies when he was younger, so I figured they'd love them. And I did check with the family to make sure there's no dietary restrictions. Whoops, wrong way. And some peeps. Some Jolly Rancher jelly beans, because according to my mom, jelly beans are a staple. And this is another thing we had stockpiled in our house, colored pencils. We had crayons as well, so one girl is getting crayons, the other is getting colored pencils. And then one of them's getting a Paw Patrol coloring book and the other one is getting Minnie Mouse because Minnie Mouse was the other thing I was told they really like. So we'll just kind of put this stuff back together. Do, 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 do. And like I said, I just wanted to get them some things to make them smile and things they would need because that is totally the mission of Boost to help kids year round with basic needs. Wow, I don't know how I fit this all in here the first time. <clears throat> then I figured mom needs something, plus she is pregnant. So this is mom's basket, just plain pink. And I wanted to get baskets that didn't say like Happy Easter or anything because since they're starting over, I wanted to give them something to hold everything in. So hers is totally relaxing. Like she got some chapstick, some a little face mask here, bath bombs. I love bath bombs, so I just figure every woman in the world does. And some binkies for the baby, not for her, obviously. And yes, I got the baby some stuff because I'm crazy. This gift bag we actually just had in our house. <laughs> just in case we have a girl born in our family. But we went ahead and got a pack of diapers. They're so cute. They have drafts on them. And they are the Honest brand size newborn. 
She was due in September and we actually had this purchased for a friend last year and we never got a chance to give it to them because they moved too soon. So this is just so cute. She is due in September with another little girl. So that's what's happening there. And then just a little doll, which I think was also purchased for our friend's daughter and then we never got to give it to them. So that is that and we did because at Target it was Crayola had buy two get one free of all their products. So I was going to get chalk but they're staying in a hotel so I didn't know. Well I'm assuming they're staying in a hotel. I shouldn't like quote that but I wanted to go ahead and get them something additional since they are getting a lot of crayons and stuff from us. I figured construction paper would be fun. They can draw, they can do whatever they want with it. It would just be a little exciting thing to have, especially since, you know, it was buy two, get one free, and I was already buying two coloring books, so might as well get my third free item. But that's all we got for them, and I'm so excited. I really hope they like everything, and I'm really, really happy that we had the opportunity to do this for them. And I cannot wait to continue to do this for more and more families. So that's your video for the week. Hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a comment down below of what you want to see next. I'm sorry if a lot of these are Boost related. Boost has like taken over my life. All my spare time has been put into this organization. And I'm just so excited to share it with all of you guys and to just get this done. It's so awesome. So, like I said, leave a comment down below what you want to see. Subscribe, thumbs up, all that jazz, and bye.